Hi, I'm George. Welcome to Mad EV, where we offer you the first-hand reviews of Chinese EVs and in-depth analysis of the market and industry. You must be wondering why we, a cup of Chinese, are doing an English show on Chinese intelligent EVs. Please give me a few minutes to tell you the answer. 15 years ago, when I was a gearbox engineer at Shanghai Volkswagen, the joint venture car makers was preparing to launch its first indigenous model in China, the LaVida. The vehicle used a brand new name, adopted the design style that is completely different from the previous Volkswagen cars. However, it managed to increase the comfortability using an old but cost-controllable PQ34 platform. Because of the Volkswagen's popularity in China, that year, the sales number of this 20,000 euro car went through the roof. At its peak, it can sell 50,000 units per month. At that time, I would never have thought that 15 years later, in 2022, China's automobile market would sell 5 million electrical powered cars, accounting for more than 25% of the market shares. Although this includes products like PHEV that still run on engines, the era of the intelligent EV has truly arrived. Here's another fact. 13 years ago, when I first tested the F3DM dual model electrical cars that has just been tried out in BYD's test field, I thought they were really crazy. The car borrowed the architecture from Toyota Corolla, the old one but it was also equipped with batteries, motors, and controllers. It also had, of course, an engine. After driving this car, its poor driving experience and clumsy power control made it difficult for me to understand why would they have made such a terrible car. But they firmly believe that it will definitely be the future. Today, BYD, the same company, has been selling 200,000 cars every month in China. These cars are all EV and PHEV products. The fact that it became the sales champion by company and by brand in Chinese market, with zero production of the traditional fuel power cars, means that the mainstream market of the new car consumption in China already belongs to the EVs. Are you curious about what has happened to BYD and other automobile manufacturers during the last 30 years? What has changed in the consumer market in China? Has everyone gone mad? Or has the whole industry really stepped into a new era? As an expert who has been engaged in the automobile industry in China for 15 years, I'm here to explore the answers with you in our show. You may think the market introduced in our video is too far away and these intelligent EVs sold in China will never appear in your countries. But what I want to say is that things are developing much faster than you think. In 2022, many consumers in Europe have been able to buy EVs from China's excellent car makers such as BYD and NIO. And the consumers in Southeast Asia and Australia have gradually become familiar with Chinese car brands. You can even see BYD launching new cars in Japan. Maybe in two or three years, these interesting and even slightly crazy EVs will appear in the car dealership near you. As petrolhead and engineers, we used to think EVs are mad, but now we are mad about it. That's how the name Mad EV came from. And just like our slogan says, the truth of Chinese EVs and more. We hope to introduce you to some magical changes that have taken place in China's automobile industry, such as iconic products, groundbreaking technologies, market and consumer trend of intelligent EVs in the world's largest new car market. Here you will find facts, opinions, and many unique perspectives, as well as our experience and judgment accumulated in the past 15 years. We hope to present you the ins and outs of Chinese intelligent EV and the market intuitively and clearly. We will be uploading twice a week. One is a car review hosted by my colleague. 
who graduated from Tongji University with a major in automotive engineering. For the past seven years, he has been a professional test driver of our company, driving more than 80 different new cars every year. It's perfect for him to introduce the use and the product experience of the new EVs in China. Another one is a market analysis hosted by me. As a professional technical and market analyst in the industry, I will be discussing an interesting and novel topic of EV with you every week. If you are working in the automobile industry or you're just interested in the automobile market trends and new technologies, you have to stay tuned to our program for more unrevealed knowledge that will definitely surprise you. Each week, we will be introduced a Chinese new EV and talk about the latest topic on the market, technology, and industry. If you find our program useful, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share it with your friends so that more people can see what real EV and the consumer markets are in China. After all, your support is what drives us to keep on.